I'm genuinely really, really excited and really terrified for this journey, but I'm happy that you're here to join me, so... Hello, and welcome to my 2023 plan. Lots of people make New Year's resolutions, like... I'm going to the gym X times a week. I'm going to stop doing Y, whatever it is. That is not what this is. Uh, a few weeks ago, my friend Carl showed me this video by Doug Doug, um, and we decided that we were going to try out his tips and tricks for like being a new content creator. We're going to be each other's accountability buddies. Um, and so I looked at the video and I watched the video and I went, I'm going to try this. I'm going to give it a shot. So the very first thing I did was write a list of all the things I'm good at, like writing stories, whether they be short stories, long stories. I'm good at role playing. I'm good at creating characters. I'm good at medium hopping, like taking uh, like a D&D &D character and turning them into like a like a short story or like taking a song and making a D&D character, uh, taking random words um, and creating a verbal story from nothing. Like I'm good at that. <laughs> um, I'm good at um, trying new things. That's the biggest thing here is I'm good at trying new things and that's exactly what I'm doing with this and I'm very nervous. Um, but the next thing that I did after writing all of those down is I then wrote down why I loved each thing, like why, why I love doing it. So writing stories. I really enjoy the challenge and creativity of trying to come up with something new, something that I haven't read before in a book or seen before in a movie, which I know that like all stories boil down to like seven story arcs or something like that. I don't remember exactly. It's been a while since I've seen a thing, but like something that I haven't seen before, this particular way that it goes or whatever. Um, I enjoy that challenge because I try to do something different every time. I don't always succeed, but I try. Um, when it comes to role playing, I really enjoy the acting and creativity of it. Um, a lot of the time, the interacting with other people as I do it. Um, when it comes to trying new things, it's a new stimuli, learning a new process, trying so like learning something new is really, really interesting to me. And then the last thing that I had to do was I had to take my entire list and categorize everything. Put like, what is this in? What is this a big part of? And the idea here was to try and narrow it down from like writing stories and role playing and um, video editing. Those are all a form of storytelling, at least for me. That is why I do it. Video editing, I do it to tell a specific story, to try and tell this specific story. I'm going to edit the video this way. Um, when it comes to creating characters, medium hopping, um, I like to, and I'm good at making a world out of like nothing, of just going like, hmm, here's a pencil. But little do you know about this pencil that it actually, uh, the lead inside, you see, um, each is a, like, person equivalent. I mean, it's lead, so it's not a person, but it's a person equivalent, and there's an entire world happening within this pencil. Um, given time, I could come up with more things about the lead in that pencil. Um, and so that sort of thing all has to do with the category that I called world building, because I love world building. I will world build about anything and everything <laughs> i think it's fun like lore as a whole like i'm really good at remembering like lores for like stories and stuff that i put my heart and soul into whether it be my own stuff or like my favorite podcast i'm known as the lore overlord um to a lot of people with regards to unprepared casters podcast because i love the lore and i can tell you so much about the character in the world about around it um and so i went in through and wrote down everything. I categorized everything. And like for some of the things, it was super easy. Like writing short stories, writing longer stories. That's storytelling. That's super, I almost just threw my water bottle off my desk. Um, that's like super easy. Like that's storytelling. But when it came to coming up with like, what does creating characters, medium hopping, making a world out of nothing, that sort of thing, what sort of category does that create? Because I didn't think that it was just exclusively t storytelling. Because why I liked it was different than why I liked. Like, a lot of the ones, like the storytelling ones, I liked it for the creativity and challenge it created doing so. Um, so I categorized everything. <laughs> 
Um, and that was what I, that was what the video said to do. That's what it said the first step was. However, I decided to take it kind of a step further. And I went to, I'm trying to flip to the page to show you guys. I went to, nope, I still failed. <laughs> I went to my friends and I went to my family and I went, hey, what do you think I'm good at? And my friends and family came up with a list. Things like uh, a friendly vibe, making conversation, making friends, caring about others, writing, uh, being friendly, being exciting. I asked for them to tell me what I was good at inside and outside of content creation because I thought that was going to be most beneficial because there's, I was thinking in the content creation brain, but not everything has to do with content creation. Like when you're content creating, you don't always have to be content creation brain on. Yes, it's helpful and that's like the goal, but like I was like hanging out with my friends one time and doing stuff and one of them was like, you could make something out of this. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're right. Like I was just being silly and goofy with my friends and it was like suddenly I had an idea for something because my friend went, hey, what if you used this? Um, so I asked them and then I categorized all of that. And what it really came down to, I spent like two weeks doing this, and what it really came down to was I'm really good at storytelling. Whether it be an improv story that I make up on the spot, or one that I pour my heart and soul and hours of my time into with every intricate detail and plot point, I can tell a story. I also have an amazing vibe. I can turn a boring or repetitive game, or even like a moment into like a silly goofy moment where when I'm streaming, chat will start laughing or like commenting and getting excited about it. I will start laughing and getting excited about it. If I'm on call with my friends, I can do that with my friends and we'll all start laughing and having a fun time over like something boring like going strip mining in Minecraft. Like that's really boring. You're just breaking blocks. You're just breaking blocks. <laughs> like yeah, every so often you'll find a diamond, but like you're just breaking blocks. Um, another thing that I realized that I'm good at is taking a serious or heavy topic and making it easier to digest, not only in the way that I bring it up, but also like how I discuss it. Because one of my favorite ways to do it is by telling a story, is by taking like me and whoever I'm talking to out of it and just being like, there's this person and this is what they're going through and here's how they're handling it. Um, and by putting in a different light, it puts that other perspective on it. Like, for example, I have a series that addresses both loneliness and helplessness where the character fully acknowledges. They're like, I'm really lonely or I don't know what to do. And they'll address those feelings and then come up with a solution that works for them in the moment to help them deal with whatever emotion it is. Um, if it be putting it into like a building project because this is Minecraft that it's 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 my let's play with a twist series um it, they might put the emotion into a project and build a new expansion on their house or something in the village um whether it be letting it out by going on an adventure and just like running around and seeing what they discover whether it be burning down an, a building once like they burnt down an entire mansion because they were so frustrated at the helplessness that they felt that they literally burnt a building to the ground um and then they went back and it was feel the emotion express the emotion and however it happened in one instance burning a building down and then showing the consequences after because after they looked at that building that they burned down and they went I don't like this I don't like the way that I felt burning that building down like in the moment it helped and it did everything but they felt guilty after and so it was a way to show that like yeah this unhealthy coping mechanism like yes it helped but it also hurt <laughs> after looking through all of the aspects I started coming up with a plan and the biggest thing in Doug Doug's video, which I'll link below, by the way, is to create content, content that you enjoy. So I started writing down video ideas and how to try something new with them. And I currently have three categories of videos to try. The first one is the episode one series, which is exactly how it sounds. Film the first episode of whatever various series idea I have in my big brain of mine. But for each one, I try something new. 
So like for one of them, I plan to use various mods and potentially get my friends on to help me film some cool cinematic shots in Minecraft that aren't typically used in regular Minecraft videos. Um, but like taking that real life film aspect of like, the, here's a three quarter shot and it's down a long hallway or whatever it is, whatever it is, taking those real life film aspects and putting it into Minecraft and seeing how it affects the story. Another idea is just literally a simple playthrough with friends where we are going to plan literally nothing. The plan is to hop on a server for like two to three hours, uh, start from nothing and see what we do. <laughs> you know, maybe we literally finish the game. We go defeat the ender dragon and we're like, cool, we're done. Maybe we spend the entire time finding a plot of land and building a house and just settling down. But the whole idea for it is there's no planning that goes into it and just seeing what comes up and how I can edit that one down to like a 20 to 30 minute video tops um, and two to see like what sort of like energy comes out of that. Um, how can we make it entertaining? Because I don't think that we're going to be like on the entire time. Like when you turn on a camera as a content creator, you're on. You go on, you get on, you know, your, whatever your content creator energy is, you put that out as soon as you turn on the camera. Um, but I don't think that we're going to be like on the entire time that we're doing that. So seeing, uh, where those ups and downs are and then how to edit that, um, I think it's going to be a really interesting thing to do. <laughs> the second time, the second category is story time, but... And it's story time, but I can only use audio from previous YouTube videos. I'm only allowed to film the intro and outro. Story time, but I'm on call with my friends and they can interrupt me and add details whenever they want. And I still need to, I need to include their details and create an, a cohes cohesive story. <laughs> story time, but I have three to seven uh, anthologies that are no longer the three minutes and work as a group. So like, you know, anthology series where each episode like is a self-contained story that they're each self-contained. They do not relate to each other, but when you put them as a group together, they all create one bigger story. Um, Cause I think that's kind of a cool challenge and anthologies are just really interesting to me. The last category, the last category is called last minute twists. And this series is another story time series where all of the episodes are self-contained, but they also have a last minute twist to them, where if you rewatch the video, there's things that you can see that foreshadow the ending. And I'm not going to say those because that would spoil that entire series. And I, I'm really excited for that one. <laughs> but after I film, edit, post all of these videos, the most important job of this journey for me is reflection. I'm going to keep a journal where I then write down all of my thoughts on the video once it's done. What I liked, what I don't, what worked, what didn't, what I never want to do again, what I learned. And just seeing how my content grows and how I get better at being a content creator throughout this journey. I want to be full-time content creator. And I know that I'm going to get there. But I need to figure out what my content is. So this next year, once a week... I'm going to try something new. I'm going to post a video where something is different than any of the previous videos I've done before, whether it be an editing technique, a way that I film, the story idea or content idea itself, whatever it is, it's going to be something that I haven't tried before so I can see where I fit and what I want. <laughs> I'm genuinely really, really excited and really terrified for this journey, but I'm happy that you're here to join me. So if you liked this content, please like, please subscribe, please comment your ideas. I would love to have ideas from people on like, oh, this could be a really cool thing to try uh, because I have so many ideas, but also I like the challenge of trying something that wasn't originally my idea. <laughs> so until next time, goodbye.